today I'm gonna work on a painting. I've already started it. I did the drawing in a Stabilo pencil, which is just a regular pencil that's also water soluble. It's really fun. And then I've just gone in and just barely started her face. This is inspired by Star Wars. There are these cute little animals in the gift shop at Star Wars at Disneyland. The pig from Star Wars. Probably gonna be a fairly quiet video. I'm just coming in here, laying down some initial color. First layer, so I don't want it to be too dark. Right now, my first pass, I'm really just masking in my basic colors so I know where to start. Here I'm just adding some, some of the same color, just trying to get another layer in, darken it. I like to work layers and glaze and glaze, tiny bit of glue to that. That brighter color will really come forward, so I think I'll have to do that the next step. I've dropped a little in. But Make sure there's a nice, beautiful shadow. And come back in and do a highlight. But I really wanna make sure her face appears round. That's why we do shadow on the edge. I wanna get some deep shadow underneath. Let's see, I'm working with this. This cup is all Caran d'Ache Super Color 2 Softs. So they are watercolor pencil. Got my, I like to split mine up between my hots and my darks. Not hots and darks, but more yellows, pinks, reds, warm colors, cool colors. There we go. Know my words. I keep a pencil sharpener close. I like mine to be nice and sharp so I get the lines exactly where I want them to go. So in my photo, he's got all of these cute little marks that kind of help curve his face a little bit. really layer these pencils too. This will all just blend out when I add water to them. I still want some texture in there. Sometimes we'll just do a little lineage for texture. He even has these wrinkles like right around his eyes. So these are like a stems that his eyes are on. Cute little pig creature. I'm 
gonna go and do a pretty good layer of pencils and I like to I take the pencils that I'm using and I leave them out of my cups so I can refer back to them and darken his horns See, I'm darkening some of those spots up, so really starting to make her pop forward. So we're gonna darken one more time, bring in some more textures, and then I'm gonna pull some highlights out with a white pen. I think I'm ready to take a white marker or white pen. Give these a good shake. I've stored these sitting up, which you're not supposed to. So any of these work. There's Cygnus, Sharpie white. But I've heard you can't get this one anymore. one's nice and light today. Bring some of that white back in the eye. I really want her to recede, so I'm going to throw some shadows down here. want her to appear behind everything. We'll just blend that out gently. Might add even a second little more shadow back there. And let's see. In my hearts of hearts, I just feel like there needs to be some hearts in here. Right here. And it doesn't match anything. But that's that's okay. I'm gonna put a nice big one right there. It's a little easy to go overboard. Some of those are a little darker than I want, so I'm gonna take this and just lighten it up a little bit. While it's still wet. I still think that one's too dark. Put a little water on there. There you go. Just kind of...
little manufactured texture. Well, let's see. I think she's cute and I think she's done. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.